I just finished my first Hono workout and I am very, very sweaty, as you can see. Um, yeah, I think I underestimated this mission a little bit. It definitely kicked my butt. Um, I thought I was in better shape having done Caroline Gervin for so long, like six months. Yeah, first impressions, really liked it. It was very smooth, very intuitive. Um, and I will talk more about it later. Hi everyone, it's Melza. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have something really exciting for you guys. As you can see in my back here, we recently got a tonal. And today, I am going to be taking you guys through my thoughts and first impression of this machine after having done the first calibration intro workout as well as some additional workouts with the tonal. We've had it for about three days now, so I'm really excited to give you guys my thoughts and impressions. If you guys are not familiar with the tonal, the tonal device here is a large screen attached to a cable machine that you attach to the wall. It has two arms that come out from the device and each arm is capable of up to 100 pounds of resistance for a total of 200 pounds of resistance. The machine has a lot of smart features as well. It has a lot of programming available via the screen with a variety of different trainers sort of peloton style if you will additionally there are a bunch of fun extra features like partner workouts eccentric and chains mode smart flex mode which really helps you get the most out of your workout the machine also includes a spotter mode which can really help you kind of eke out those last reps and get the full range of motion of your movements so let's talk about the setup of this machine once it gets delivered to your wall um, setup is pretty quick and easy. You just have to connect it to Wi-Fi, which is pretty straightforward. You know, enter in your Wi-Fi password. It connects automatically, which is great. And from then on out, it will just stay connected to your Wi-Fi. The machine does require some sort of internet connection to work, obviously, as it is a smart device, and it will require an internet connection to provide you with the benefits. You do have to set up an account. You can do this before your tonal arrives, or like I did, I did it when my tonal arrived. There is a smartphone app. In my case, I have an iPhone, so I just went to the app store, downloaded the tonal app, and then it will then prompt you to create an account. You enter some basic information, name, age, weight, height, your goals that you're looking to do. From here, it will be able to suggest and recommend some programs for you to pick from. The app also allows you to browse all of the different programs that are available, filtering and saving the ones that you are interested in doing. It will also let you create custom workouts that you can then do on your tonal at a later time. There's also a leaderboard and a strength score that the tonal gives you to kind of gamify your fitness journey. Creating the account and setting it up was pretty quick. Once you do so, you can then save your password on the machine and each time you log in, the person who is logging in can just select their little icon and it loads up all of the information related to that particular account. You can have an unlimited number of accounts, at least to my knowledge at the point I am filming this, with just one subscription, which is really nice. There are also the ability to have guest accounts. If you have a friend who want to try it out or you have family visiting and staying for a week, they can absolutely use the machine and not mess with your staff. The machine itself is really solidly built. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel super wobbly or anything like that. The machine isn't completely silent, however. resistance there's definitely a sound you can hear it retracting as you do the movement we have it attached here we have a bedroom on this side and an office on this side i would not recommend that you plan on having someone sleep on the other side of this wall while you're using it as it is quite loud the arms move very smoothly i was a little concerned with the ability to move them and shift them up and down and just sort of move them around but honestly after you do it a couple of times it does start to feel very second nature say hi the arms do move a little bit on occasion, especially on higher weights with higher intensities, but it does not feel like rattly or anything like that at all. They are, after all the arms sticking out, there is gonna be some wobble to it, but again, this machine feels very solidly built. So as you can see, when you tap the screen, you get a little sort of welcome logo, and um, you get your different logos. As you can see, there's a guest profile, and you can have the option to create new profiles here or on the app so we'll just hit my name there and it'll go ahead and load up my 
account with my stats programs that I'm currently working out and my strength score and whatnot. You guys can see, it'll show your streak, your streak, the program that you are working on. So this is the program that I am currently doing to test out. And then sort of other programs to complement the program that you're currently on. And then just also other recommended programs. Up here at the top, you can see these are your options has your volume setting here. I really like this option as you can change the sort of overall music, coach, sound effects, etc. which I found really helpful. Over here is the option to connect to your Apple Watch. Again, super convenient. And once you set it up, it just auto connects every time, which is very helpful. It also tracks your activity and your exercise and it does log as an exercise, which is something I was unclear about, but I'm very grateful for. Also at the top, there is an explore and custom option. Explore lets you kind of look at all of the programs that they have available. You can see there are options in here for workouts. So these are individual workouts that you can sort of um, browse through. Programs, which are sort of all in one programs, typically a couple times a week, as you can see, it'll tell you how many times a day for how long and whether it is a beginner, intermediate, or advanced level. So you can scroll through those under the programs tag, tab, sorry, programs tab, and then here you can filter by coach if you have a preferred coach as well, which is also fantastic. And then here in the custom tab, you can see that you can create your own workouts. You can also do this in the app, which is awesome. Um, but as you guys can see, you can just create Hits. but you can create your own workout with you know the amount of reps the workout that you want to do you can also filter to help find the um, workout that you want to do which is great and then there's also a free lift mode where you can just sort of adjust and move as necessary so for the arms they do move and they do hide away. We have them kind of sticking out right now. But um, as you guys can see here in the back, there is a little lever. This lever allows you to move the machine up and down. So let me just show you. So there's another little lever here that will let you pull the arm out and lock it into place as so. And then this lever in the back, when you pull it, you can bring the, um, the arm down and then it locks into place as well. See? Okay. And then again, this arm here just moves up and down. This little button here allows you to, to adjust in and out to this way, which is super helpful as well. And then to move it back, we just again pull on this lever Oops. and see it locked. There is, you can see there are like little, but like little buttons here that will lock on if you don't continue to hold the lever. But you can see, I continue to hold the lever and pull all the way up. Let me talk about the first workout that you do after getting a tunnel, sort of setting it up and calibrating your weight. It starts off with a warm up and then you get into a practice round with the three movements that you will be doing so there won't be any weights loaded. You're just practicing the movements. You're really just gonna feel for the machine and what it can do and how you position your body. After that, they turn on the weights and it starts pretty low. I think like seven pounds or something like that. The machine will adjust the weights as you move to sort of gauge your strength and the right weight for that movement. So you'll do a couple of sets of these. I believe it was two sets. And then you move into an actual workout, which is about 15 minutes. It was, I believe, three sets. First workout for me honestly kind of kicked my butt. Um, I thought I was in pretty decent shape. Being on a machine that was programmed to do certain things, I felt more pressure not to take a rest or not to stop and I was just like almost there one, two more reps. So instead of pausing like I would or stopping like I would if I was using a dumbbell or free weights, 
you know, doing a YouTube workout, I just, you know, eked out those last two or three reps and just made my heart rate sort of really come up, really got like perspiration going. So I really felt it. Kicked my butt, if I'm really honest, that first like sort of even calibration workout, if you will. The following two workouts that I did, the second day, I just sort of picked a random one that was a full body workout. It was really cool. Um, I'm still getting used to the machine and sort of having the, the different movements, a lot of cross body movements as well and getting to understand how far away you have to be from the machine. The machine does have little prompts as well and it will also prompt you or a little buzz on your watch that tells you you need to be further away from the machine, two feet away or two inches away when you extend your arm, etc. So you get the full range of motion, which is also super helpful, especially if you're new to the machine like I am, just trying to figure out how it works and how best to position your body. So that's been really helpful as well. Yesterday I did start a program as you guys saw and I picked a three day a week program and I did the first workout yesterday and it went really well i have to say one of the workouts that i did there was a set that i forgot to turn on the weight so don't be me push the button and turn on the weight but aside from that it's been really intuitive and the machine remembers the weights that you're at you can also adjust it as you will and it's been really fun so far the machine is just really fun to use it's very very smooth it also kind of makes you feel like a beast because um you can really feel that resistance there's also an eccentric mode so it'll give you weight both both on the down and on the up so the full range of motion which can really help accelerate your muscle building ability as you're working out I've only tested it out I haven't used it for a whole workout yet as I'm still just sort of getting used to the machine and how it works and how it works with my body but so far so good I also wanted to cause I'm a fairly short person I'm about five foot tall my partner my significant other is about six foot tall we have fairly short ceilings about seven foot six or seven foot eight or so but so far we've had not had any issues the arm can extend all the way we've not had any issues with the ability to do any movements or anything yet so so far so good overall first impressions of the tonal have been largely really positive for myself i've been really enjoying it and i will be doing a full review shortly probably in a few more weeks as i really get a chance to try it out and really give you guys some good thoughts and impressions and a full review but if you are interested in a full review to help you make your decision on purchasing this machine please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and a notification so you get a notification when that review comes out thanks so much for watching i hope this was helpful and i'll see you guys next time bye